Hey guys, welcome to today's video. This is Trust Okafo. On today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to approve an offer or a buyer's offer on Wombat Marketplace. So if you want to sell your NFT on the Wombat Marketplace and you got an offer, you can actually accept or reject it. But either way, I'm going to show you guys where to see it. So to actually sell your NFT effectively on Wombat. So where you actually sell NFT is actually the marketplace. So I'm going to go over to the Atomic Hub of EOS. Now it's actually under EOS. If it's Wax, you can choose Wax. So when you go to the market area of your Wombat, click on this menu icon just below, um, just below the name Atomic Hub. Click on that menu icon. And it's going to show you your balance in NFT and everything. So I'm going to click on, um, sorry, I'm going to click on trading. Click on that and then you are going to see buyer offer or buy offer. Click on that. Now, if you click on buy offer, you are going to see all of the offer. Um, you are going to see this area right here. This is actually the offer. I received this offer from this person. And the person is offering 1.25 EOS, which is actually worth $1.45. Now, what the person is actually offering for the item is actually four of these. The person is actually um actually offering to buy four of these um in this amount. So this is the buyer's detail, and this is actually my detail. So what this person is actually trying to buy is this. And this is actually what the lowest price in the market is actually 1.62. And it's actually, um, the price is actually not available. And the suggested price to sell this NFT is 1.5. Now, I am not going to accept this offer because this is actually ridiculous. So now this is the next one, which is also one of what the person is offering for 0.9. So now if he's trying to buy all of these four, if he's trying to buy all of these four NFTs for this amount, that is totally ridiculous and unacceptable. So um, the only way to go about this is just to decline it and send the buyer a message. So I, I already put the price of what I want to sell this. Even though this person doesn't work out, another person is going to buy it. So I'm just going to say yes. But then, guys, if you are actually satisfied with the offer you get, you can always accept. But I cannot sell that um, for lower than the price fee and it's actually for NFT. If it was actually one NFT, I could actually do that. But no, I'm not doing that right now. All right, I have successfully declined that and I'm going to close. So this, you notice it says, um, buyer's offer for the receipt was declined. Man, the guy was trying to buy four NFT at that price. Now, if you go over, um, that is all for today's video, but now I'm just going to show you guys my inventory so that you guys will see my inventory and, and what I have actually listed. So this is all I have listed on my NFT. Then. I am expecting the person, I'm expecting people to buy it. I've actually not listed this. I was surprised the person actually priced for this even without me listing it. But then if I'm going to list it, you notice the suggested price right there. But this is actually the lowest price. So it's left to me to actually put the amount that I want to sell this. And also, this is one of the things the guy actually priced and he wanted to buy. I don't mind selling all this stuff, but man, that price is just ridiculous. And I know that person can do better. If the person eventually do better, I'm going to sell it. But if not, I am actually going to sell this to someone else and I'm going to sell it in the market and I'm very sure I am going to get a good price for it. So I just want to sell off all of the NFT and after selling it, I'm very sure I'm going to realize even more than what the person is pricing. Imagine pricing this, this, and this for that price. Man, it's too low. I'm going to list it in the market so he should have patience. And I still have more if I click on load more. Okay, that was, that was the last. I am going to be selling all of this NFT. And I have been selling this NFT since morning. I am expecting this one to go. I don't know the reason why it's taking longer time. But then, guys, um, see you on my next video. If this video is helpful, don't forget to smash like. Selling NFT is actually easy. And I've already made video about it. All you need to do is to click on list on the market. And then you put your market price. I'm going to put market price for this. You are going to see suggested price right here. And this is the lowest price. You can click on the suggested price and then you click on create list.
if you do not want to trade, um, use the suggested price. You can always increase your price, put your price however you want. But just know that if you have a higher price, higher than the suggested one, it's actually going to be difficult to sell. And if you have a lower price in the market also, it's, um, it's going to be easy to sell. But let me show you guys something. When you click to list on the market, right? Now, this is the suggested price. If you go lower than this, let's say I made it three, it's going to prompt you that um, your price is significantly lower. And you notice right there, it's going to also warn you that you understand that you are listing your NFT to a significantly lower price. So you have to click on that before you create. But if not, if you choose the suggested one, automatically you can just click on create and you create. So guys, I've made video about this previously. I'm just clearing um, this new topic about accepting an offer or rejecting an offer. So I hope this video is helpful and see you guys on my next video. Stay safe, guys. Happy, um, happy one bad thing. If you have any question or further question regarding the marketplace, let me know. And it's fun, guys. Um, it's fun doing um, NFT and selling your NFT on Wombat. So see you on my next video. Peace.